y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 to sims 4 where i am recreating families and their houses from the sims 3 in the sims 4 if that makes any sense that sounded really confusing but anyways today we are recreating christopher Steele, who is a pre-made sim introduced in the sims 3 he lives alone in a small victorian home located in sunset valley so christopher Steele's biography in the sims 3 states that he is lucky by nature things have always come easily for him which is starting to get boring now that he's in a brand new town with no friends or a job how will he fare so to be honest i never played with christopher Steele. um i don't know if it was just because i was more prone to play with the female sims i'm not sure so i don't know much about christopher Steele. so i had to do my research on him now don't get me wrong i'm familiar with all the sims in the sims 3 so i know who he is i've seen him walk around town all the time but i just didn't really know much about his personality and honestly to me he looked a little bit boring he looked older than what he really was but turns out he's actually a young adult and i think that is just the comb over hairstyle he had in the sims 3 that just wasn't working for him it made him look so much older than what he really is even though he didn't have any kind of like facial features or any not facial features obviously has yes, facial features duh i mean like facial hair or like wrinkles and stuff but he had like a baby face but his hair it was a comb over it just made him look so much older so i wanted to kind of make him over in the sims 4 make him look a little bit better so i kind of went for like a slicked back hairdo it's kind of stylish it's not technically a comb over i think he looks pretty good if you ask me i think he's handsome but Anyways, I just knew he was a single sim in The Sims 3. I kind of just thought that he was, you know, um, a loner or something. Just wasn't really interested in women because, like, his bio said he's brand new in town. He doesn't have friends or a job. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. He doesn't even have a job once. I mean, how are you going to afford that little house you're in, buddy? But anyways um turns out on uh sims.com like there's like a little form you know where apparently a lot of people can go on there and share their theories with you know any of the sims that they want to discuss and luckily for me i found a form on christopher Steele. and turns out for a lot of simmers he was a playboy he was a playboy which i never seen that side of him honestly but apparently he is considered sunset valley's most eligible bachelor which is interesting because i just did not see that i didn't get that vibe from him but <laughs> i seen where somebody said that he's a player you know he's a great kisser that is one of his traits um you know and if you leave him alone with a female sim then he's gonna be a bad little sim which i thought was hilarious but yeah apparently he is just this little playboy um carefree go lucky you know nothing everything seems to work in his favor uh but he's brand new in sunset valley or you know if you want to download him on the sims 4 and plop him into whatever neighborhood he can be brand new there he doesn't have friends doesn't have a job so it's kind of like a fresh start with him which is really cool um but anyways a little bit more about him uh his traits in the sims 3 he was a great kisser an angler a natural cook a daredevil friendly and his lifetime wish was presenting the perfect private aquarium which again i did not get the vibe that he was a fisherman like he was really into that life but apparently so so for the sims 4 his traits um as you've seen i gave him the loves outdoors trait i gave him romantic and i believe it was outgoing so yeah um also he shares the same last name with Mike Steele, who is a deceased Sim in Strange Town from The Sims 2. He also shares the last name with Donovan Steele from Lucky Palms. It is unknown whether they have any connection to each other, but I always like to mention um, from Sims Wiki if they think any of these Sims have any like relatives and other you know neighborhoods, worlds, or expansions. Um, or generations of the game i just think that's really really cool but anyways yeah that's about it for him uh, like i said he's uh 
uh, he, there's not much to him, you know? He's kind of just something, a sim that you can just kind of tell a story with on your own. He doesn't have much of a background because he has no friends or anything like that. But his house, he lives in this little small two-bedroom Victorian cottage, which is blue. It's very cute, but it was kind of girly, so I was like, okay... I need to make this look like a single male sim lives here. And I did not want to give Christopher the same vibe that I kind of got from him in The Sims 3. I wanted to go with what everybody was saying about him being this, you know, go-lucky, outgoing, playboy, most eligible bachelor. So, when I was creating him, um, he's cute. He's not the typical sim that I would make for my males. Um, I usually tend to make my type, which is tall, dark, and handsome with tattoos. Uh, so I kind of gave him like thin lips that he has in The Sims 3 and the bigger nose, which is not a big nose, but you know, it's not like a perfect nose, which I think gives him like some personality and character. So yeah, I think he's really cute. He looks very young and I really wanted to give that personality or, you know, portray that personality in his house. Um, which I, I've said this before when I, <laughs> when I'm decorating my houses or furnishing my houses, especially for like single male sims, I find it kind of hard because I want it to obviously look like a male lives here, but at the same time, I, I just feel like men, they just need the bare necessities. They're not going to worry about putting like some plans or some pictures on the wall, but you know me, I like to go all out when I'm furnishing. So I think I did a pretty good job as when I get to the interior, you can tell me if I did. I think I did a good job at kind of like keeping it cute, kind of have the same blue color theme throughout the house, but also, you know, giving off little hints of his personality. Um, as you can see, I kind of struggled, you'll see me go back and forth uh, with the roofing, because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make it look as similar to The Sims 3 house as possible, and that roof was just, like, really awkward, so I end up changing the wall height, as you saw, to medium, because for some reason, it just looked very awkward when I would, you know, look at the screenshot view from the gallery, and it was really bothering me, and I think it just looks a lot better with those medium-sized windows, so... I did the medium wall, ha wall height, <laughs> but anyways, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I did struggle with it quite a bit, though, um, but yeah, so I, when I get to the inside, you'll see I also, <laughs> I put like a guitar in the living room and just trying to give it that vibe that a male lives there, single male bachelor, you know, uh, and he does not even have any music skill, but you can give him music skill, it might just be there for looks, maybe he got it signed, I don't know, I was just trying to do something different, um, but yeah, <laughs> I also struggled getting the laundry room, or a laundry period in this house, it was quite a struggle, <laughs> uh, but I figured it out, and I'm, I'm just kind of pre-telling you this because we're not even there yet in the speed build, but I'm struggling to find something to talk about. Y'all, voiceovers are forever the death of me. I hate them with everything in me. I just feel like I'm rambling and talking. My mouth gets really dry, and I just feel like it's just cringy. It's very cringy, but anyways, this house is two bedroom and one bath so it is quite small but it's spacious it's not too cramped which is what i really like about it and also of course you know if you want to download him he is like covered in cc but that's okay you can still download him make sure you check the little custom content tab and then you could just give him a makeover and whatever clothing you have that's fine I do you boo but anyways um you, know, you can obviously have him get married and or get in a relationship, have a kid. There's an extra bedroom, which I think is always important. I hate playing in one-bedroom houses, even with single sims, because I don't realistically like to move around a lot. I just feel like my sims, you know, I just, I take the game way too serious. It's like, no, you gotta save money for a house, but no, no, you can mother load that ish and get a new house, but no, for me, I like to make it realistic, so my sim's not gonna move around too much, you know? <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. Crazy. But, anyways, like I'm trying to say, there is a spare bedroom in case, you know, you get someone knocked up or get married and, you know, you have a kid. But, um, 
I'm using it as like a little office for him. I put a little workout machine in there and a computer as you'll see. But yeah, I really like the color scheme of the living room. I, I cut out a lot of it because I was really struggling. Like I said, trying to make this look like a male lives here. I didn't want it to look too girly and too put together. So I came across that wallpaper because I do like the color scheme of the outside of the house to flow with the inside. And I don't know how I've never seen that wallpaper before, but I love it. I think it is so pretty. I love the colors. It's just different and so I decided to go with that light blue aqua looking color and then gray. So basically light blue and gray was the color scheme, which is different, but I like it. I think it turned out nice. Um, you know, I gave him like a PlayStation type thing, a gaming system, you know, trying to give that hint of a personality that a male lives here. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have, you guys. <laughs> for the house and Christopher Steele because uh, I'm rambling and it's it's torturous I know y'all right like shut up shut up but anyways let me tell y'all about what happened to me last night so the day you are seeing this is actually going to be November what day November what today is the first I'm doing this voiceover you'll be seeing this November 3rd so I'll be uploading this on Saturday so anyways last night was Halloween right well, I didn't go trick-or-treat or do anything like that, not because I'm too old and think I'm too good for that life. I, I really would. Uh, I usually take my little goddaughters and, you know, get some candy myself. But um, at my church, they was doing, like, this fall festival, and they had, like, a little scary thing out in the woods. Um, so that's what I was doing. I was um, playing, like, a demon in hell or whatever. And I had, like, on a mask, and all was going well. You know, I was scaring people. They had, like, little kids coming through which are the best to scare, which sounds like really bad, but you know, they scream at everything. So you're just like, rawr, and they're like, ah, it's hilarious. But anyways, oh, this one little girl wasn't having it. I got in her face. Let me tell y'all, that little girl slapped the piss out of me. She slapped me and I just started laughing. I just had to walk away. I was like, I cannot believe I just got slapped. That little girl was like, get out of my face. She slapped me. But yeah, it was pretty good. If anybody cares, it turned out really nice, but it, it was probably the most boring. It, it was just different for Halloween because we always do a fall festival, you know, at the church I go to, but it's usually not on the actual night of Halloween. And I like to dress up for Halloween in a cute outfit, not like a demon. <laughs> and I like to go trick or treating with my, you know, my goddaughters and relive my childhood and beg for candy and just take cute pictures of them you know just see all the other kids dressed up i don't know i just i i know it sounds creepy some people love halloween i don't love halloween it's, i honestly think it's just creepy i don't know if it's because um it's because of all the costumes or just because you just kind of relate it to something bad possibly happening because it's creepy i don't know but I like the costume. I've always loved to dress up. I've always loved to go trick or treating. But um, it's I don't know. I'm ready for Christmas now, <laughs> which I'm a Grinch. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I am a Grinch. I like Christmas. I love the cold weather. I love you know the Christmas vibes. I love you know buying presents for people. I love getting together with the family. I just I love the festivities of it and shopping and stuff like that. But I cannot stand. For people to start decorating for Christmas right after Halloween. I cannot stand for Christmas music to be played before December. Which my friends are the complete opposite of me. And she really calls me a Grinch. And I'm starting to believe it. Her mom goes a little bit overboard. The whole house. Which is my boyfriend. My best friend is my my boyfriend's sister. So my boyfriend's mom and my best friend's mom. I, you know, I basically like live with them. She started decorating for Christmas, Christmas before Halloween, like last week. So, I mean, they don't have their Christmas tree up. It'll be up probably by the end of this weekend. So, by my next video, you see, there will be a Christmas tree up. They'll probably start playing Christmas music, which, ugh, I just think we need to get through Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is very important to me. I appreciate the large quantity of food. And the family time and the pilgrims, I appreciate them. I think we need to celebrate them before we start, you know, celebrating Santa Claus and Jesus and all of that. 
I just, I don't know why. I just, I, I think people get ahead of themselves and it bothers me. I, why am I talking about holidays right now? This is just me rambling. But anyways, y'all, <laughs> um, I hope you guys uh, um, like, like this house that I'm working on here. I think it's about to wrap up if I'm, I'm correct. Actually, I, I don't know. It is about to wrap up because you don't know this because you can't see me right now. <laughs> but I forgot to render it before I did the voiceover. So it's behind. Like what I'm seeing is behind what you're seeing as I'm doing the voiceover if that makes sense. Anyways, wow, this was a hot mess. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my recreation of Christopher Steele. Like I said, he is available for download on the gallery and so is his house. It does not include any custom content. So if you want to download it, feel free to do so. Who do you want to see me recreate next from Sunset Valley? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, with that being said, subscribe if you have not give this video a big thumbs up comment yada 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 i think i already said that oh my god get out of here carissa bye